Hey everyone, Kirk Short here with the Wichita Home Team at Keller Williams Signature Partners. It's another day, it's another tip. And I wanna talk about floodplains. Um, I've got a lot of people asking about that because there's been a lot of changes, it seems like, when they did the last map revision. And what does it mean if your house is in a floodplain? Well, it means that if you have a loan, you're required to have flood insurance. And that's not always a fun thing. Uh, but the reality is there's a lot of different levels of flood insurance. Um, if you have not seen if your house is in a floodplain, then I'm going to recommend that you go to the website that's either in the description or is on the screen here. Okay. Traditionally, people think that you have to be by a body of water, like a lake or a river, to sit there and be in a floodplain. But what a lot of people don't realize, and they're realizing more right now, is that floodplains can be put anywhere that the government deems that water collects. So that could even just be from runoff. So there's a lot of streets and areas and developments that now have floodplains. A lot of times it's just set up inside the streets, but those eventually, in some cases, creep into yards. So when does it affect your property? It affects your property negatively when the floodplain on the map sits there and shows the area that's covered and it touches your structure. That's when it's a negative situation for you. Most of the time, if it doesn't touch the structure, you don't have to worry about flood insurance with a lender. Um, if it does touch the structure on the map, what do you need to do? Well, if you're in an area that you think that you might be outside of the floodplain, we always recommend that somebody goes and talks to an engineer. Uh, the engineer will do an elevation on your property, compare it to the elevation for the flood map, and determine if your property's in it. And they look at that lowest elevation that's in there. If you can determine that your property is out of the floodplain, they give you what's called a LOMA. It's a letter of map amendment. And that is something that then can be provided to your lender to show that your property does not require flood insurance. Okay, so what if you have to have flood insurance? What if you've looked through everything, your property's in the floodplain, whether you knew it before or now you found out that you've got it now. If you have flood insurance and you're already paying for it, what you're paying sticks with your property. Now, if you're buying a property that has flood insurance, let me give you one big tip. You want to go talk with that owner and hopefully that owner has maintained his flood insurance in place. Because what can happen is, is you can generally go with the provider that he has used and take over his flood insurance policy. And why is that important? So I'll give you one quick example. Um, actually, I'll give you two quick examples. I've got two separate clients. One was a house that I had owned at one time, and one is a house that one of my clients owned. The property's in the floodplain. The cost of the insurance in my property's case was around 650, 700 bucks. Um, my other client's was around $800. But guess what? If we let that lapse, and the new buyer had to sit there and buy a new policy, it could be as much as $2,500 for that same property. So there's a big benefit doing that. I don't think you always have to be afraid of flood insurance. You just need to be aware of what it is, why it's there, and how to protect what that cost is that you're gonna pay for it. So if you have questions about flood insurance and wanna get a hold of me, I would love to talk with you. I'm Kirk Short with the Wichita Home Team at Keller Williams Signature Partners. Um, if you wanna go talk with your insurance agent, I strongly recommend that as well. They can sit there and look and tell if your property is in an area that requires flood insurance. So until next time, guys, achieve your dreams with the Wichita Home Team. Thank you.